Since we left for winter break, the Cyclones men's basketball team has taken numerous hits to its roster. L.A. Pomley was removed from the team for breaking team rules. Charles Boozer tore a ligament in his knee, causing him to miss the remainder of the season. Lucas Steiger up and left the team to play professionally in his German homeland. And any hope that Jamie Vanderbeeken could return from injury to be a contributor has been cast aside, leaving the Cyclones with only eight scholarship players. Factor in that starting forward Marquez Gilstrap constantly plays on a sore knee, and you've got a recipe for disaster. It's obvious that the clones haven't caught many breaks this season, but it's evident that they're not going to make excuses, and they're certainly not going to give up. Last Wednesday night, the Cyclones all but erased a 21-point second-half deficit at Oklahoma. After falling behind early against Colorado Saturday night, the clones came back to beat the Buffs in a thriller at Hilton Coliseum. I cut up with point guard Deontay Garrett after the game to see what the team is doing to stay focused in these difficult times. All right, man, you know, uh, we lost a couple guys, you know, this year. And, um, put us down to eight players, you know. And uh, I think we just, you know, to keep focused, you know, we just got to have meetings and see where everybody's head is. And, you know, everybody's got to keep working hard. And everybody got to have that communication and that chemistry as a team to keep this team going like this and not, like, lose any more uh, other guys. The Cyclones likely need just a few more wins to make the NIT. An NCAA tournament bid, however, is unlikely. But who knows? The 2004-2005 Iowa State team was in a similar situation before going on a seven-game winning streak to propel themselves into the tourney. Could we perhaps see a repeat? Only time will tell. For iState News, I'm Jared Ransom.